Uh, welcome. It is December 2nd. This is the Mycroft Developer Sync. And we're just going to go around real quick and check on everybody's status. Uh, Giz, how's it going? Uh, yep, the Ubuntu focal, or the Panther Core Ubuntu focal image is uh, showing the GUI and um, uh, some minor fixes um, on the back end, uh, which means that you know all the the Micro CLI and all those tools are now working again, which is good. Um, so uh, and Ken's got his PR up, so I think once we get that in, it should work. Is the theory? Um, oh, and the Wi-Fi Connect um, is not wired up yet, um, but they're working on that at the moment. And then we'll get back to the things like the UDEP rules and, and those little things, which should theoretically be fairly quick. OK. Was there uh, a, a problem with the the Wi-Fi Connect? I thought that was the, the next thing on the list from yesterday. So. Yeah, they were working on it yesterday. And I thought they were going to have it, like they were aiming to have it done by the end of the day. But I didn't have something working this morning, so okay. presumably not. Um, but they're asleep now. I, I'm sure. Right. <clears throat> okay, but no, you, you don't know of any blockers that have come up. It's just no. taking longer than expected. Okay. All right. Um, What's important for me, by the way, is that they get them so they can boot off of a USB drive, since I can't burn an SD card here without going out and buying them. All right. Um, well, hey, Josh, you're next on the on the list. So do you want to go now? I broke my touch screen. Uh, so yesterday we, we had a good sit down in the afternoon and came up with a long list of questions that needed executive action, uh, forward those on to Michael for consideration and action. Uh, and then the decision was made to go ahead and start moving forward with uh, getting dev kits shipped. Um, Gez has asked me to make sure to let everybody on this call know that the dev kits will be in people's hands by December 24th. So please feel free to buy them and, and give them to your family for Christmas. Uh, no, the, the, we, we still don't have an actual ship date. Uh, we're targeting the end of this year or early next year, provided that we can get all of the stuff that is coming in. Uh, the decision was made to ship the dev kits as three separate SKUs, uh, the basic dev kit that both folks bought on the Kickstarter, uh, the basic dev kit with a camera is the second SKU, and then an advanced dev kit that includes uh, laser cut parts and resonating chambers and um, you know additional driver and all of the other goodies that, that allow you to, to actually you know open up a box and assemble this. So that will be available to folks who are um, are interested in upgrading from the basics. Um, and then, you know, I had a good meeting with Derek about the, uh, about all of these parts that he's been going. So that has now been handed off to the business development team. And, uh, and finally got uh, new resonating chambers printed. We're trying to get these to the point where they can be printed as uh, an easy to do print. There's still some, some quality issues with infill and some overhangs that aren't properly supported, but we're getting very close to having something that you can just stick on an FDM with no support and hit print and it goes. So that's very exciting. Uh, and that's it. It's still early in the day. I'm looking forward to spending the afternoon uh, on the phone with, with China and uh, uh, Taiwan and, and starting to get all this stuff moving through the door. Uh, we are, we have a product, so I'm excited. And I hear through the, through the, grapevine that will have an image in the next short period of time. Uh, it has been promised in the near term, but I, I've been working with developers long enough to know that that's not always the, the case. Well, it's not over till it's over. So, uh, all right. Well, thanks, Josh. Uh, Chris Vare, what did we decide on? <laughs> Uh, well, I have spent the uh, last 24 hours, I went through, <clears throat> excuse me, I went through JIRA um, and I, I talked to 
to Michael about my next project. So I went through JIRA and um, did a little cleanup um, while I was waiting to talk to him. Um, there's a new epic called account management. Um, one of the things on my desk is going to be to make sure all the bugs and little things that are niggles with account management get solved. Um, so onboarding is, is a good experience or a better experience is already good. Um, so I did I went through all of our tickets. I also closed a bunch of them. There are a bunch of Kiwi tickets I closed because um, as won't do um, because we mostly abandoned that. Um, so that kind of stuff. I did a lot of that. Um, today was a lot of meetings. I talked to Michael a lot today about um, metrics and um, and user uh, management and what we're going to do with um, the memberships going forward. So um, that's the kind of stuff I'll be working on uh, coming up. And I also talked to Ken a little bit about the API call I'm providing him for um, precise model training. Um, so I just I need to give him some examples of how to call that endpoint and then he'll give that some testing. And tomorrow, um, we'll be um, trying to implement a couple key metrics. Oh, Josh is, oh, maybe he's listening. <laughs> but, um, one of them being um, daily user activity. Um, so uh, once those are done, then I'll start doing some of the other things. <laughs> thought you, I thought you'd enjoy that, Josh. <laughs> um, once, he, once he starts doing that, then I'll start doing some design work on the uh, on the new account management stuff that I, I talked about today. All right, sounds good. Uh, Ken, how goes it? Uh, fine, as Chris mentioned, I went over some of the API stuff with him and I'll be moving on to that probably tomorrow. I spent the day uh, getting the pull request actually working because um, you know, it was working on my device, but my device it turned out had artifacts from an old code line. So when I finally got my new pull request up, my new branch up, and then overrode everything on my system with that branch, there were breakages, which really surprised me because I figured that would have got caught in Voight Comp or in the build process. Uh, there was like missing modules and it was throwing exceptions. So I don't know why it built cleanly and I got a clean bill of health. We'll have to look at that moving forward. But um, yeah, so I actually got everything working on here. Um, just because you have an image doesn't mean it's going to work. We have, I have no idea if the VF Control USB that we have for 64-bit will run on their 64-bit image or not. Um, so there's that sort of stuff. There's um, oh permissions regarding being able to run a pseudo. I have an easy fix where I can give you a one line to add to your pseudoers until the UDEV's done. But point is it's going to be a little bit of a hump. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of pushing to get this code into the next build. And then I'll recreate the uh, image on this device here from the Panacore stuff clean uh, and be in the same boat as everybody else. So that's kind of what's going to be consuming me is um, tracking still on the Panacore stuff and getting that build working on our devices and then moving over into the, um, the new training stuff. Um, and, and building out some uh, code. I mean, right now that stuff is a very simple script and what I really wanna do is break it into a Python file so that each of the decision points calls out to decision makers. They can be really simple now and say, if the file count, new file count is greater than hundred, that's great, but at least there'll be a placeholder and then later we can enhance that and expand it to the actual balancing algorithms and stuff. So I'll be working on that. And again, looking at the closely at the Panacore stuff Yes, when do you think you'll have the pull request that I put up there merged into feature slash mark dash two? Uh, because I'm assuming that that will be magically available the next time I go to burn an image, right? I'm muted. Uh, that's, yeah, that's right. Um, I think there's just, uh, I want to just make sure that, um, but yeah, it's 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 all working. So there's a couple of little things we'll need to to change um, that I mentioned in the chat just before. Um, yeah, so but you like no, that's shift. the op. You're gonna have to talk to them about if you don't want it in the main config, right? Sorry, what was that? The op config. If you want me to pull that out of the main config and put it there, you'll deal with Panacore about that. 
Yeah, yeah. We'll, so we'll put that in the um, in the etc config um, in the device level config. Um, I also yeah just want to like pull out like the VF control USB driver. Um, you know we don't want that in core. Um, and then there's some like. Well, where do you want to put? Well, at the moment we're just gonna have to put it in the build recipe, but but I also would see that. The build recipe is gonna come from it's gonna have to pull it from some static asset location, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. The file's gotta live somewhere. Yeah. So I think I think we'll we'll throw it in um, like Microsoft devices for the moment um, until we get the actual how. Well, why don't we why don't we do this? Why don't we leave things as they are in that pull request for now and let's get this working. And then what we can do is we can go back since we're going to have a bunch of other things that probably have to be altered for the Panacore build and we can get all those at the same time rather than holding the process up at this point until we can get the ops config deployed and until we can get all the it's other just stuff. Just if we right. want to oh, if we oh, eventually okay. want to merge. Right. I got it. Let's Sorry. let's uh, you guys can uh, problem solve uh one on one. Yeah. I, I appreciate it that you're eager to solve problems uh but uh Let's uh, let's get to that right after this meeting. Um, yeah. uh, two two comments. Uh, well, questions, I guess. Ken, uh, the VK, that the VK test didn't catch things and said that your pull request was good when it was not is concerning. So um, I don't think the VK test runs on that on that um, PR. So because it's not going into our mainline code. Ah. Uh, um, uh -huh. I just had a quick look. Okay, um, so it didn't run at all. That was the that was the thing. Got it. Okay. Um, well, that's good, and maybe something to look at. Um, well, wait a minute. I'm not sure that's true. I well, I thought my in thing case, it said that it did run. Okay. Well, that's another thing to look into then, because we'll, we'll it really look, should yeah. catch those things. And then the uh, the other thing was, um, yeah. I mean, ultimately, I don't want to uh you know pollute core any more than it already is right we should we should be i mean i think we discussed putting all the driver stuff in the in the hal uh you know repository um and that well, this, you, this and that vf control I... should be built from source right it shouldn't shouldn't be a binary file so well wait a minute wait a minute so this was my response back to gez which is the hal is a concept right now yeah so don't speak of it as if it's a tangible object. Okay, well, so, you know, it's like, well, we should get this in the how. Well, we don't have a how, right? The point is, we don't have a working image. I'd like to get a working image from Panacore that I know is not going to work until I have a chance to spend a day or two with it, and then back and forth repartee with them to get that stuff sure. in the process. And so all I'm recommending is we get it working first. We can worry about optimizing it and making it look pretty and extra spaces and changing the names after it's functionally working. Uh, I thought I heard somebody saying they wanted to send out dev kits sometime this year. <laughs> all right. I just want to make sure that uh, that this doesn't become another one of those artifacts that we're, you know, gnashing our teeth about. Uh, it sure does you know. sound like it's not going to get overlooked. <laughs> we no. spent an awful lot of time nitpicking things like this. I mean, we really need to get, you know, some traction. We need to get some images out there. We need to get the product in people's hands. I actually had the luxury all right, all right, all right. today, and we need more skills. I will. So uh, I, I wonder if we. I wonder if we actually intentionally <laughs> never merge this into. You know, if the aim is to to not merge this into mainline, like we put it in the feature branch, um, but instead of merging that feature branch into mainline, we should be pulling most of that, um, all that stuff out to the how. Um, for the production release. There you go. So let's just go ahead and get this image built and get everything working on this branch. We can worry about merging in the master downstream when we have something working that we want to merge. All right. Okay. So it sounds like you're still uh, wrestling with some of those issues and uh, you're not going to be able to get to the wakeboard stuff for, you know, no, 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 that's wrong. I'm done. I'm now oh. blocked by Panacore and having oh, okay. a working USB bootable image from Panacore that fires up and does Wi Fi. And gotcha. And okay, so can, you are moving yeah. out of the wakeboard stuff. Now, oh, now but, but you said something that concerns me. So, is it the intent moving forward that 
things like VF control USB and possibly the kernel driver will be built at on demand and not having a binary ELF created and then that deployed. Because if that's the case, then we need to, again, that probably falls on Panacore, but we need to communicate that to somebody. Yeah, uh, let's talk about that. I mean, <clears throat> there, there was a make file concept that we talked about in each of those HAL directories, but as you pointed out, we don't have those yet. Um, but there's gonna be a lot of you know firmware and stuff like that that needs to be um, captured and maybe get updated you know, from time to time. So we need to make sure that that stuff is, is getting built properly. Yeah. yeah, so basically the, the uh, status for me is I'm blocked until Panacore has a USB bootable 64-bit image that I can then see if our stuff works on and if not, get it working on it. Uh, so while I'm blocked, um, I will go off and work on the wake word stuff uh, because there's going to be some, you know, uptime. I, ha I haven't worked on that in two months. It's pretty complicated. I got to get back in and look at the documents I put on Wiki and get my bearing. So yeah, um, okay. I'll, I'll move on to that. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Uh, Derek. Okay. All right. So yeah, I had a good uh, Josh mission this already, but a good meeting talking about um, how we move forward ordering parts. Uh, so I kind of handed off. Uh, this is kind of what we're working with now. And you know, I talked about um, you know we could maybe shave some costs off and negotiate here and here, or you know, explore this alternative parts for a couple of things. So um, Josh and Chris and Johnny, thank thankfully <laughs> for me, <laughs> uh, have offered to to take that off uh, my plate and to start that process. Um, which leaves me to work more on, you know, documentation and continuing uh, to tweak and refine things. Uh, so that's mostly what I'm working on today is getting things ready to talk to um, an, a possible assembler solution tomorrow. Um, so I sent out an invite for that just a little bit ago. Um, haven't heard back yet, but hopefully we can work something out. Uh, he's got the parts. I sent them overnight, so he should have those to evaluate. And I've been working on other things to kind of describe what that is uh, in terms of pictures and um, documentation and stuff. Yeah, so um, we continue to do that. And then uh, based on Josh and, Josh and I's conversations, I do have a couple of revisions that I'm going to try and make pretty quick to uh, mostly audio chamber. Uh, so I'll be working on that tomorrow as well, so I can just get that done um, and then start a test print. The idea there would be to try and get the audio chamber down to just one part, um, which could save us a couple bucks and then save some assembly, don't need uh, adhesive and such. So yeah, that's me for today and tomorrow. Awesome. Okay, thanks. Um, as for me, I think Pretty much everything I've touched in the last day has been covered by somebody else. Chris Vare, I've been working with uh, and, and uh, prepping for uh, earlier today. And then I've been in meetings all day with Josh and other people. So um, that's pretty much it for me. Um, we have, um, yeah, we're moving on to uh, some discussions with uh, the uh, people who are going to be doing fulfillment, uh, hopefully, uh, tomorrow. So that's something to look forward to. And um, yeah, still still looking forward to uh, getting my uh, getting the, the software deployed on, on my device here. So uh, eagerly awaiting that. Um, but it uh, sounds like things are going. Uh, we're moving, and there's a chance that we'll uh, we'll you know get these things out by the end of the year. But that's certainly not a promise. Um, and uh, especially given the holidays and the COVID situation. But um, but we are ordering parts now, so it is in process. Um, that's it. We'll talk again tomorrow. Uh, thanks, everybody. Gaz, are you and I supposed to resolve?